All right, today's Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, and I'm going to start putting in some work uh, on this headliner for the 61. Um, all I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace the uh, tack strip that you staple the headliner to, and then tomorrow and into Thursday, I'm going to start working the material. Uh, first, I guess I have to run the headlight. Uh, I'm sorry, the... Uh, Courtesy light uh, wires, which it looks like over there on the driver's side, they're still there, but they're probably probably dry rotted out. So I ordered this tack strip off of eBay. It's half inch by five sixteenths. It's rubber. It's like convertible tack strip. And this is what you staple the headliner to. So I've used that a couple times. <clears throat> On a, uh, on a 63 that I had and then the 64 that I just did and I'm going to do it again on this one so you can see it's similar um, actually this stuff right here on the car really isn't bad um, mainly the front and the back but the sides aren't bad it's the same material that's used for the wind lace which still isn't bad but I'm going to go ahead and replace it anyway since I bought it um, it just has a lot of staples in it. Um, for the upholstery staples, you have to use a special stapler. I'm going to get into that whenever it uh, starts stretching the material. But uh, all I'm going to do today is, like I say, replace the uh, tack strips. Not going to put a whole lot of work in today. Um, you can see the, the back side. I believe it's screwed in in some areas, so I just have to take some time to pick at it and see what we got. But it goes across the front, the back, the sides, and then the two uh, door jams for the wind lace. Got my seat tracks in there, um, just messing around, power, power seat. But that's the stuff, like I say, it's inch, half, I'm sorry, half inch by 516. It was about $36 shipped off of eBay with taxes and freight um, for 20 feet, and 20 feet is plenty. So I'll bring you guys back once I start getting the old stuff out. Alright, so here we are. I had to make sure the flash was on. <clears throat> Three hours later, I got all the tack strip in place. Um, so the process is you got to take the old off. The old in this area has about three screws and then the rest it's, it's staple, it's steel staples that uh, staple it to the roof of the car, which are tedious to remove. So that takes most of the time. And then I went back and just um, just uh, drill screw or drill holes, and put sheet metal screws to uh, hold the uh, tack strip all across the front. You got a section for the rear view mirror that you got to allow for. I got the wind lace in there. <clears throat> both of them that's that's easy um, this one up here I'll do place the tack strip and like I say I ordered 20 feet and it's it's almost exactly enough because I had about six inches left on um, this side has stuff a little bit of cardboard in the back um, because the tack strip could be a little bit um, thicker but it works I use it on the 64 and then the back <coughs> Just sheet metal screws all the way around. All this is going to get covered up with the headliner. Um, so, as far as the sheet metal screw uh, staples, I think it'd be easier if you uh, save a lot of time if you just remove the old tack strip and then hammer in hammer in the staples instead of trying to pry them out. Because when they try when you try and pry them out, they all break, and then you got it. One staple turns into two, and you got to sit there with some needle nose pliers and wrestle with it. Um, so I think it'd be easier just to kind of pry out the old tack strip and then hammer the staple back in and then the new tack strip, tack strip will cover it. So I think the headliner should be done without the glass in. In fact, I've, I don't see how people do it with the glass in. I know for big guys, it, it ain't going to happen. Um, it's much easier to, uh, to reach for the fabric 
and pull it this way and up and staple it than it is to try and do it under with the steering or if you had the steering wheel and the dash and all that. So I always do the headliners first, then front and back glass, which I have the front and back glass. <clears throat> I have the window channel for the front and back. So I think I'm going to do the headliner either tomorrow or Thursday. Front and back glass can go in Friday. And it's going to start looking more like a car after that. Um, after that, I'm thinking probably start polishing some stainless. But So y'all guys stay tuned. I'll bring y'all back once uh, I get some fabric stretched. And we'll see how it looks. We're back. It's, uh, it's Thursday. So far what we've done is I run the uh, dome light wires from the American Auto Wire. Just got them kind of roughed up. I picked up some lenses. Uh, some dome light lenses and bezels today. Did mock up all the headliner molding and I did have to cut the uh, tack strip to allow access to the trim so we mocked up all the all the headliner moldings all around we mocked it up make sure everything's gonna fit back and we just took out the uh, header bows headliner bows we took them out we brought them over here one at a time so you know which is which so see Adela marked the headliner front and rear as you can see. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to trim up a little bit of excess right here. Because that's going to cause wrinkles. And bring y'all back once it's uh, hung in the car. Alright, it's still Thursday, April 9th, and we got the headliner done. Um, overall came out, came out pretty good. Um, a lot easier with two people we did this one two people and it came out the results I think came out nicer and it was a lot easier I think it took us like maybe an hour and a half once we got everything we needed but did pretty good getting the wrinkles out um, so this was a new headliner and it uh, I had my wife iron it and then put it in the Sun for a little bit but uh, take you around this side so we got all trimmed up so hopefully on Saturday we put the front and back glass in we did put the uh, interior dome lights. What would you rate this on 1 to 10 of being difficult? Difficult? Yeah. Uh, about a 6. 6? Oh, it is a stretch and a stapler. Yep. I'll show you the stapler we used. But yeah, two people makes a big difference. Yeah. Big time. So we use the quarter inch 22 gauge with a 3 8 crown. And I ordered the stapler last year and it uses these staplers. And it's kind of, I guess you can say it's an upholstery stapler. And it use 40 psi. Because if you go too high on it, it's going to go right through the vinyl. So 40 psi with that stapler. Probably put about 100 and some staples in here. But overall, I dig it. Matches the dash pretty good. And then we put the trunk trim on. That came in. <clears throat> so it's starting to look more like a car. And I really like the way that fit. That's actually a pretty good reproduction piece. Really good piece, yeah. We didn't have to really tweak it or bend it. We did have to get creative with the clips. We're not going to get into detail about that as long as it's on the car and it looks good. Um, but that's a wrap for the headliner video. I think this one was easier than the 64, mainly because it's smaller. It's way smaller. Yeah, no cell panels. No cell panels to cover. Um, I don't think it was that bad. I think having two people made it a lot better. Uh, just pretty, we pretty much worked the front and the back a little bit, then worked the sides, and then worked from the sides forward and backward. It's kind of one of those things, man, you can't really explain how to do it. You just kind of kind of do it and start pulling out wrinkles and stapling. Yeah. You have to remove some staples to put out some wrinkles and then staple it back. It's a process, but it, it wasn't hard. And uh, so I think it looks I think it looks really good. And we did test the lights. Yeah, I, I did wire it. So we wired up the lights. I had to use the wires that, from the uh, American Auto Wire kit that I got for this car. So we ran them above the headliner and I hooked them up to the DeWalt drill and they do work. So that's good. Um, but I guess that's it for the headliner. Saturday and Sunday, 
I mean, on Saturday we do front and back glass. I'll do a video for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little two or three piece video. Stay tuned for more.